Welcome back, 2005 Chevy Suburban. It's got a leak, uh, windshield washer reservoir. I don't know if it's the reservoir, it's cracked, or it's one of the pumps. There's two pumps, there's a front and rear pump that are right in the reservoir, mounted to the reservoir. So just gonna pull it out, take a look at it, see what's wrong with it, and fix it. That's right, so we need to get this out so I can look to see where it's leaking. You have one bolt up top, one bolt down the bottom. I don't believe you can get this out without taking the battery out and the battery tray, so. We're gonna get the wrong size here and uh, see if we can. I uh, thought this was a 10 millimeter. Let's just grab the wrong socket. Probably all I need to do there. Just gotta pivot that out of the way. Negative first. there. One bolt. And we'll go underneath. And then one more and a couple of push pins. You got this thing tucked in there pretty good. Okay, let me get underneath. Alright, looking right up in the front driver's side, right behind the bumper. And one bolt right up in uh, in here right behind here and then two push pins into the wheel well into the inner uh, fender liner I think that's it so we're gonna take this uh, 10 millimeter out of here first right there and I can show you that I'll push these two push pins out and then I think we'll be able to move this around and get at the uh, connectors back here electrical connectors for the pump and all I do see the clips though can't get to them, but I can see them. I don't think I can go down. Well, I can go down a little bit. Because that flexible in the line on them. Let me push that down. Let me go underneath and see if I can get those two at those two electrical connectors and get them out of there. Maybe I can go that way just a little. Let me see if I can get them out. I'll go underneath and see if I can unclip them. I'll show you when I'm done. Almost impossible to show. And okay, three electrical connectors at the bottom. Push it down or I can get at them enough to get them undone. And then there's these two hard lines here they come up into here I guess I could disconnect them right here probably if I can get these loose yeah let me do that unconnect them up here oh one came undone already where's that one go Should be two lines there I see one that was this guy where'd this guy go Gotta be up in there somewhere. Oh yeah, he's back in there. He's already disconnected. He's buried up in there. And we're going. It doesn't, it doesn't want to go either way. Uh, come on. Really? Oh boy, that's tight. Going up on down here. 
enough at the bottom. It's going out the bottom. All right, there it is sitting on the cart. So obviously, two pumps here. Uh, looks like this one is leaking. Uh, we're going to put some fluid in there and see where it leaks out. My guess is that the grommet that's holding the bottom of that pump is probably what's leaking. All right, so you can see in the bottom right of that pump in the middle there, it's dripping and it's already leaking there. So question is, is it leaking out of the pump itself or the grommet at the bottom? Not sure. I'm going to pull it out of there and see what it looks like. So if you look right down in there, hopefully you can see that. It's actually leaking inside. There's an O-ring on the bottom of this pump. It's probably leaking past that, and I'm looking a, about a half inch up. There's a ridge. You see all the blue. Hopefully you can see all the blue around that ridge. I think it's leaking past that O-ring and up through it. That's my guess. That's what it looks like. I'm going to pull it out of there completely, but I think it needs an O-ring here. So there you can see that slit, which is supposed to be there in the side of the... Uh, bottom housing for the uh, pump. You see all the blue up around the top of that. It's definitely leaking from the inside. It doesn't look like it's leaking from the grommet. So I originally was going to try to replace this O-ring, but these are so cheap. I think it was $25 for both pumps, uh, the front and the rear. The only difference really is the connector. Connector on one smaller. I don't even know which is which. I just know where they came out of. Um, so I just, I'm going to replace both pumps. I'll keep this pump. As far as I know it's working, I'll keep it as a spare. This one, uh, I also noticed that the top of the ring here, these are not supposed to come apart and it came apart. It's cracked. So for the amount of money, I'm just going to replace them both. We're just going to pop new grommets in here, put them back, put it back together, and we'll, we'll put it back in. All right, so pumps are back in. Hook back up. Put enough fluid in there to make sure they're not leaking. They look like they're fine. They don't look like they're leaking on me. Better not be. They're brand new. <clears throat> Shouldn't be leaking. Uh, we're going to feed this up from the bottom, uh, see if we can feed it back up in here. I'm betting that if you just had to replace a pump and you knew it was bad, I didn't know what was leaking, I didn't know if it was cracked or not. Um, so I had to pull it out so I could get a good look at it. But I'm betting if you just had to replace a pump, you could just probably lower this down a little bit and switch a pump out without having to pull this whole thing out. But let's go put this back in. I know you can't see this, but I'm just kind of pushing the inner wheel well, inner fender liner back in out of my way, get past it, make sure my electrical connectors aren't getting hung up, probably look at the back of my head more than anything, my line's up here, a little bit long, kinda, it's better, alright, now I can Reach down in there, get my electrical connectors and plug them back in. And I've got one on the side here, so I'm going to just push that connector down and go back underneath. It's a little easier to get to it. It's on this side in this corner, so I just lower this down just a little and get to it. And I have my three electrical connectors back in. Get this up where it's supposed to be here. Get my top bolt in. One of my top bolts here. I should do note that there's one here, the battery tray goes into the battery tray. I'm going to go underneath, there's one bolt down the bottom. Let me put that one back in, get that set up, get that working. And then uh, my two inner clips on the inner fender well, put them back together. I've got my bolt on the, underneath and my two uh, push pins to my inner fender well put back together. Just got to tighten this top one up. Okay. Hook my lines back up over here. Now we'll see if I have them hooked up backwards. If I do, to take these two connections I just made and switch the lines. But we'll see it when we test it. Let me put this back together. Put the battery back in. We'll see what we got.
Okay, let's go see uh, if the squirters work here. Let's turn this thing on and see if I have uh, these two lines hooked up wrong or not. Now we're just going to test the front, make sure we have the lines hooked up right. Alright, so that's it for the 2005 leaking windshield washer reservoir. Uh, it turned out to be one of the pumps, the O-ring on the pump. Um, they're so cheap. I was originally going to get an O-ring, but it's $25 for both. So, replacing both. I'll keep my old one that I know is still working as a spare because um, I don't want to have to go through it again. And, you know, a week from now, the other one will go, of course. Um, I tested it by just testing the front and rear washers and if they're reversed and you push the front washer and it's the rear that actually sprays there's two lines right next to the battery where they connect you got to switch them fortunately i didn't get them wrong a chance 50 50 shot you know if you, if you get them backwards just flip them around no big deal but it works fine it's not leaking um don't know how common an issue this is might be might not be but needed to be fixed if you need to do this for your 2005 mid 2000 Chevy uh, Suburban Yukon Yukon XL. I hope it helps you out. If you like the video, subscribe below. Thanks for watching.